Okay, now let's go ahead and take a look at trapezoids. This is the last one that we'll do. Um, so for trapezoids, you know, like it says, we're using uh, trapezoids on each interval. So we'll do two trapezoids, and a lot of time will ask for the trapezoidal approximation. will be the instructions, and I'll tell you how many to use. But, um, so in this case, uh, how you do the trapezoids is you actually look um, at the, the height at both endpoints. Um, and that kind of is how you make your trapezoid. So the trapezoids that we'll get look, we'll look, you know, something like this. Um, that's a possible trapezoid. Ours will look a little different because our graph is uh, increasing as opposed to decreasing. But with a trapezoid, just to remember here, um, the bases of the trapezoid are the two sides that are parallel. So we could call that like base one, we could call this like base two. The height is the distance in between the two bases. And the area for a trapezoid is um, base one plus base two times height divided by two. Okay? So to make our trapezoids, essentially what we're going to do is we're actually going to just, at each endpoint, so our first, rectangle, our first trapezoid will go from 0 to 1, since we have two trapezoids on an interval of 2. So you just make a little point at each endpoint, so at 0 and at 1, and you essentially just connect those two lines together. Now you see this first one happens to actually be a triangle, and the reason for that is this base is 0. Okay? But you'll see in this next case here, when we make our other trapezoid, so I already have my point at 1, now I make my point at 2, I connect those two together, Okay? And you'll see now I have a trapezoid. I have a base 1, I have a base 2, and so forth. But, you know, the first one just happened to be a triangle because of the nature of the graph. Because <clears throat> one of the endpoints was at 0. So, anyways, um, now I need to go ahead and find the uh, area of each one of these, add them together, and we've got a trapezoidal approximation. So, the, uh, the first one, um, let's see here, we'll use this formula. So, you know, base 1 is just 0. So I'll put 0 in. Base 2 is whatever that height is, so we know that at 1, if we plug it in, the height there is 1. The height of this is the distance between the two bases, which is, in this case, 1. And we just divide that by 2. It's part of the formula. The next one here, we have um, at x equals 1, um, the height here is 1, like we just talked about before, so that's base 1. For base 2, it's whatever this height is here, so we just take 2, plug it in here, square it, get 4. That's the height of or that's the, the value of base 2. The height is the distance between the two bases, which is 1. Divide that by 2. So now we just add these together. So this is going to be 1 half um, plus, that's going to be 5 halves. And we end up getting 6 halves, which is 3. Alright, so we end up getting um, 3 as our approximation using the trapezoids. And, um, yeah, so that's all four of the methods. Now, with this one, you obviously, you could use more trapezoids just like with the other ones as well.